This is an FOU Studios podcast. Steve's awake. Steve's awake. He's in the kitchen. What a weird guy. Big Brother Superfans, here we are for our first show ever. Big Brother BB on the slop. My name is Chrissy Cookie Pant here. And with me, as always, my ride or die, Linda. Hey. I'm Linda Tex. Hey, Linda Tex. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Um, we have so much to talk about. Our A first lot. show here on BB on the slop. So much to say, so, so much. much to talk about. Oh my gosh, I am exhausted. <laughs> right. I stayed up till 3.30 last night yeah, watching I, them. I couldn't do that. But I, Yeah, I got sucked <laughs> in because we have tons uh, and tons and tons of spoilers coming. If this yes. is your first time tuning in, something that you need to know first about our podcast is this is full of spoilers before yeah. the CBS show uh, that will go on Sunday or Wednesday or Thursday. We know a lot already uh, about what's been going on because Linda and I are live feeders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and <laughs> Twitters. And Twitters. Twitters. Tweeters. Tweeters. Twitters. Uh, okay. Let's just dive in. Let's go. Yeah. Let's make it happen. So the... Head of household competition. Yes. Um, Tyler won this competition. Um, this was, is there a title for this comp? Or they were just, they were kind of It was like running delete, along the, and, delete the data or something like right. that. They had the data balls mm-hmm. that they were dropping to delete. Into tubes of other players. Mm-hmm. And um, it came down to Tyler and Bailey. And my t- gosh. Yeah, there was a little bit of beef between the two of them yeah, because and- Bailey saw that, saw that eventually he was go- going after her. Yeah. Because they were they were helping each other through it, right? They were and not as much point, as Winston and Angela, though. What the heck? I know. Oh my goodness, yeah, they teamed up pretty pretty good there. Pretty good. So our tie, he won. Mm-hmm. Got that last ball in, and uh, yeah, we saw the, the s- first the head, first head of household. There this he is. Season. I love the HOH room this year. Oh yeah, it's it looks really great. nice. It really is. There's tons and tons of seating. Like there's never that much seating. <laughs> anyway sidebar on that so let's jump into the next thing so now mm-hmm. tyler lots of pressure on him to put tons. up first hoh mm-hmm. not much to go on Mm-mm. actually to put up two nominees exactly so he did the right thing i think yeah. he just flat out said steve and sam, sam you're up on the block you were the last ones you were the first ones out in this competition mm-hmm and Tyler is, we have to remember for the rest of the summer, Tyler is like probably the actual ultimate super fan in the house, which mm-hmm. last night he told Sam that he's a super fan. Oh, okay. He did. He like flat out told her, I'm a super fan. And so he is playing the house perfectly. He yeah. really is playing both sides. I think so. I mean, I kind of don't know where 100% where he stands because mm-hmm. when I was watching the feeds yesterday, him and Swaggy were kind of you know bros talking back and forth being friendly and yeah. swaggy just told him everything <laughs> I think. Oh, it's probably like too much but yeah i don't know what side tyler really sees himself on because then i think winston had approached him right about joining their alliance right so i don't know we'll see mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. yeah the man i like to call them the mayonnaise alliance <laughs> <laughs> and let's say who's in that alliance okay so we have angela angela of course Angela. <laughs> yeah, she's the comp beast. She is a comp beast. Why aren't they getting rid of her? Uh, we have Angela. We have Winston. Mm-hmm. We have Brett. Brett. We have Rachel. Uh huh. And we have Tyler. Right. And Casey. Okay. So, so yeah, I wasn't sure about Casey. I'm mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not sure where she stands. She's yet, in there now. They got okay. her. So you have all of the muscle, all of the athletic muscle, all on one mm-hmm. team. They saw it. They spotted each other there's That's obviously it. been sexual tension there between uh-huh. i think angela and uh angela and winston, winston and yeah. brett and rachel like there's like this whole thing going on there it's almost like the alliance we should have seen last year with mm-hmm. mark elena and right. jody like we that power yeah it's gonna be like pretty that. strong if the four of them it is and th- stay to get you know mm-hmm. and then have like casey too you know, yep. that'll help. Yep. Whatever, whenever they need, you know. And they the will <laughs> probably cut her if they stick together. Mm-hmm. But that is a tough alliance to break up. Absolutely. That really is. That's They're powerful. And then we have the Island of Misfit Toys. 
on the other I side. I call them the swag, swaggies, swagettes. What the swag. I, I don't know because originally Swaggy pretty much saved them. Yeah, he did. You he know, came in. So yeah, that is. Um, so we have. Oh yeah, rock star, rock star, uh, Caitlyn. Mm-hmm. Basically, like the Namaste group, right? Uh, rock star Caitlyn. Uh, Fessy right. is in there. And ha- then Haley. Haley. Yeah. Um, we'll get into Haley in a second. There's a lot going on with Haley. Okay. Um, and then I think that's. And, and Bailey I, and Swaggy. Right. So, but then I don't know. What do you think about JC, Scotty, Steve? Are they kind of like floating right now? They're doing this wonderful float. They okay. really are. JC has been sleeping up in the HOH room with Haley. Okay. And Tyler. Oh, that's interesting. And so JC has been attaching himself because he could be renomed. Because, you know, right. he could be a renominee. Right. And so because they, he's not really, you know. And he pulled the smart thing and he was like, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to sleep in the big bed, in the big HOH bed. Right. And I'm going to be friends with Tyler. And he totally is doing that wonderful latch onto the HOH. Mm-hmm. It's early in the game. Right. And I also think Tyler can see JC being a potential ally well jc could have won that comp yes no problem no problem and he and was he, just kind of like i don't want to win he's it. like i don't <laughs> well this is the hardest hoh because it's yeah. the longest hoh you have to do the first two nominees yeah. and now if we want to get into yes the biggest spoiler we're going to drop oh. right now that you're going to find out here it comes the veto was played yesterday mm-hmm. the veto was played um, obviously that's it was when I Tyler. stopped watching that's when you <laughs> <laughs> because when they blocked out that's like oh god it's 9 30 and when you get fish you're I like eight month oh. old, I have to go to bed <laughs> you're like I gotta go to bed they're gonna go and play a five-hour veto so the veto was three hours last night uh they drew names in the morning for it so they had a oh, little yeah. bit of time for uh prep and campaigning and getting ready for that but uh from what we can tell from the feeds is it was obviously Tyler mm-hmm. Sam Steve and then it was Scotty, okay. Fessy, and Swaggy. Oh. They played the veto last night. And Fessy walked in, 9 o'clock, wearing that big old veto. And everybody kept saying wow. how impressive he was. He didn't hide how athletic he was. He didn't hide the fact that he basically blew through this veto. Like it was, And he said, and he probably shouldn't have, but he was mm-hmm. like, that was a cakewalk. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, yeah, Fessy, shut your mouth. Play that man. down. He's a big dude. Like, seeing them now in the house walking around, yeah. Fessy's huge. Yeah. yeah. So now, mm-hmm. I think he may keep the nominees the same. Yeah. I mean, there was talk from the um, the cool kids, or what did you call them? The, the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise, the mayonnaise alliance club. Yeah. that, like, Maybe Bailey would go up instead of somebody. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen because Crit, because Swaggy mm-hmm. and Fessy and Tyler might be, yeah, kind of together at this point, like in a strong bond, a strong alliance starting. So exactly, and I think if he uses it, I think if Fessy uses it, um, we will have a a horrible backdoor situation with Bailey, and they are obviously protecting Sam. Um, it started to sway the other way as of last night. Steve was really working hard last night post yeah. veto. Um, but I want to talk about the veto. Okay, yeah, please. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> so the veto, we're at season 20. So it's big. It's bigger yeah. than ever. It was like a fear factor veto, apparently. Huh. It was like fear factor. They were mentioning the fact that they had to move snakes from one container into another. Oh, no. They had to dive into ice water. At one point, this is my favorite thing, they were shot with paintball guns, and they had shock collars. (laughs) So, for those of you tuning in for the first time with FOU Studios, Face Off Unlimited produces this wonderful show down in the East Village called Batsu, and I was like, you should see my belly and all my paintball marks. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Yeah. You should try it. No. uh -uh. (laughs) But yeah, so it's like it was like a fear factor, high, In- like intense, intense, intense. It was timed, and um, they were getting shocked. They had the shock collar. Listen, I've had a shock collar on my neck before. It's no joke. They um, were being shocked, 
and Sam apparently got shocked and freaked out on a CBS <gasps> producer, like lost her mind, like F this and F that and F you and F all well, of this. She's been a robot for the past but she's been a week, robot. so that could have been part of it too. I mean, yeah, but I wow. th- they said she was close to winning, like fussy, oh. fussy beat her, but so good for Sam then. Good for Sam. Maybe she's a little bit of a comp piece that we don't know right. about. Right. Well, we do know her, her comp abilities. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. So, what do you think? Do you think he's going to keep the nominees the same? I think. I think so. I think they're going to keep the nominees. The you same. don't think they might put like Angela or one of those? On they the should put thing? Angela or Winston up, but they're not going to do it. Yeah. People Tyler are is in with them big... at this point. Yeah. Yep. And he doesn't want to make that big of a game move. Oh, right. Because Tyler would be the one. Yeah. And to I also put them up. And yeah. it would be interesting to see Tyler in the diary room if he held back from the veto, mm-hmm. because then that's one less blood on his hands. Because if Fessy uh, yeah. uses it, then he just has then then he gets blood on his hands. But if he also has the veto, then he's stuck in that first H O H veto win. What yeah. is he going to do? You know, right? Yeah, so. Tyler's growing on me. I really, oh uh, yeah. yeah, right, totally. I was like, oh, this guy will be out in the week two. Uh, uh, I think we're <laughs> no, in for a Tyler <laughs> summer. <laughs> Yeah, and even mm-hmm. like, uh, oh, it's it's it, swaggy is really. Good. I mean, they're all playing really hard. Yeah, right out of the gate too. It's like, oh my right? god, they're, you know, Angela. Mm-hmm. You know, so I I was I, I mean maybe you can help me with this. What are the powers that they've yes. acquired over the last? So we do know another spoiler. Here it comes. Um, Fessy got actually the crap app. So he gets okay. Amazon deliveries throughout the day, throughout the night, um, where Big Brother comes over and says, Amazon delivery, and he goes into the diary room or the storage room. I haven't actually seen him do it yet, and he has to bring in a package that's full of, like, fake ham. Um, oh. And so he has that. Um, obviously, Sam's a robot. Um, oh, God. And then... Uh, Casey has our pinwheel of death, which we see on the CBS show. But Sam, spoiler, here it comes. <laughs> Sam won the big power app. She won the power up app. So Sam has um, basically equivalent to what Jessica had last year with the halting hex. Okay. Sam has four weeks to halt any eviction and um, save save somebody. Yeah. So this week could be all for nothing again just like last right. year with paul like it could be all for nothing mm-hmm. um so sam had a conversation with tyler yesterday yeah that i watched that too. yeah and what did what did you did you watch it in real time i didn't get a chance to watch I it i watched real time. in real time well she just said to him you know he actually he called her up to the hoh room and just spoke to her like you know I, human I think Sam, he right? knew. Yeah, human Sam. Yeah, human Sam. I think mm-hmm. he knew that she may have had this power at this point, but didn't know what it was. Yeah. And so I think he was just kind of, you know, trying to get her to talk. And she just said, trust me, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. And then I... Trust me. Uh, trust me. Trust, trust I trust me. you. You trust, trust me. me. <laughs> kind of thing. Like, <laughs> you actually might not even... That would be actually in Tyler's best interest as well, because then he doesn't get any blood on his hands. If she stays on the block... And she uses it this week. Right. Because then it kind of sets the game back at the start again. And unfortunately for Tyler, his HOH is all for nothing. But it protects him moving forward. Well, could he have everybody... I guess what you're saying is then everybody could vote her out. Mm-hmm. And then she uses it. Yeah, she can use it post-eviction. And then, uh, yeah, it's like starting again. It's just a, a reset. And so... Yeah. Yeah, that's that might be that might be the best. It might I be. Mean. But Tyler said to her yesterday, you won't have to use this because she huh. flat out. She told him all of the rules of her power. And he said, well, you should save it because I don't think you're going to need it anyway. And I think that's because at that time they're looking to get Steve out. And yeah. why do you know? Do they just I think he's just the odd man out. Yeah. You know, somebody's got to go home first and. He's an odd man out. I mean, we're, we have the live feeds to our left right now. And Linda's right, obviously. Yeah. Steve's awake. Yeah. Talking to Winston. I, I wonder Mayonnaise what, I mean, Winston. He seems like he's getting along with Scotty. I mean, yeah. Steve is, you know, he's friends. With, yeah, it looks like Scotty, JC, you know, they kind of been. Yeah. I've been watching the feeds. They've been hanging out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Right now. 
right? What might happen, but which way those, because you never know who's going to end up being picked up and have that one moment where there's a veto going on and they're sequestered up in the HOH room and like, friendships and blossom all over the place right. at random times, you know? And they've been together now, I didn't realize, 10 days as of yesterday. Yeah. So 10 days. And they were already pretty yeah. close. Some people have really gotten close in the last 10 days. I oh. mean, um, I noticed Sam and Sam and um, Casey mm-hmm. seem to be close. Um, I think that they got, when they were in like seclusion together, right. you know, when I'm waiting for... Their punishments. Their punishments. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. If if Sam plays it right, she already has America won over. Because, I mean, I love her. I do, too. She is also doing this absolutely wonderful thing last night. She was moping around. She was like, last night, I have to go to the diary room. Someone <laughs> do my makeup. Um, and Angela's like, are you okay? And she's like... No, I'm fine. I'm just really down. Yeah. She has power. She, right. It's the best act. She's acting so well. And, and she's a positive person. So you want to keep is. her. You, you know, want to keep her around. Yeah. She's that ray of sunshine. She is. <laughs> she Claim is. to be. Claim to be. What about. Oh. Are you doing showmances? Oh, I was just thinking uh, about it. <laughs> dive into it. Uh, so we know right now Bailey and Swaggy have been, you know, hooking <laughs> up. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But yesterday, I think, I think up until yesterday, she may have been Bailey may have been may have been staying with Swaggy overnight most nights, sleeping yeah. with him. But I don't know as of now if she kind of like moved out just to separate herself. I think yeah, they had a oh, they had a I had to turn it off. They had they were having like a back and forth conversation oh. last night for like about their relationship for oh, like twenty five minutes up in the Skywalk area. I was like. Mm, I can't watch this again. Um, but I think they also have been trying to hide their showmance. Yeah, you, yeah. And Winston caught them. And because <laughs> Swaggy's smart, he's like, "Don't, don't be attached to the showmance." Like, you know, right. showmance is at the beginning. Yeah, it just usually doesn't work. Doesn't work. It usually gets broken up pretty quickly by somebody going home. Um, but yeah, Bailey, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. So and then. This is the best thing. Go ahead. Okay, so mm-hmm. Haley and Tyler. Oh, is is that okay? So mm-hmm. Tyler was kind of talking out loud in the HOH room yesterday, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, I really like Haley, and uh-huh. but you know, I don't know, I have, my head's got to be in the game, kind of to this extent. I mean, not exactly yeah. what I'm saying. And then you know, he kind of mentioned like, "Oh, bro, Fezzi, you didn't, you know, you know, she kind of turned you down, and so, but yeah, is that really happening, Haley and Tyler?" I saw Haley and Tyler, right? They were they were cuddling, they were canoodling, and somebody even compared them to Nicole and Hayden. Oh, from right, I saw six. that on Twitter. They looked exactly, yeah, it was that. like, oh, no, I don't know if I can go through. Well, Tyler's, I love you, Hayden. I love you, Hayden. Um, Tyler's way smarter than Hayden. Um, but, like, they are very... Very similar. Very similar. Yeah. Um, but then last night, in the girls' room, in the pink room... Mm-hmm. Fessy and Haley were cuddling and he was like stroking her hair and like being lovey-dovey with each other. And we have the live feed on right now next to us. Yeah. And Haley and Fessy are in bed together, which means Tyler's upstairs in the HOH room. Right. So. So may I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. But I mean, maybe Haley's just playing the game too. Maybe. Maybe she's <laughs> like, using that. She's she's also testing her waters. She's on um Big Brother Bachelorette. Like yeah, I always right. love when those girls are on there and they're like, This is Big Brother Bachelorette. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a husband. Um, but she's gonna play. I think she's gonna play. She's in yeah. a really smart spot right now. Um I think yeah. the final thing is we also have have not reveals, have nots happened. Oh. I don't know how they got picked. I don't know if they got to decide to be have nots. That's a rumor that I heard uh, going around. Uh, definitely Winston and Brett are, are have nots. Oh. They are, they are on. Yep. So whether or not they nominated themselves or however that worked. Um, but yeah, they have in the have not room is open for nice. business. It's that awful. means they have to eat slop. They are on slop and they are gassy. <laughs> you can always also tell who have-nots are whenever you're on the East Coast like we are and you're a feed watcher. 
because you see who's up first. <laughs> yeah, right. Winston's awake right now, <laughs> having a cup of coffee because he's like, I can't be in there. I feel like every time I see him, he has co- he's he's drinking he's coffee. He's drinking coffee. So at least, yeah, I can relate. <laughs> I hope he wins us over. I want Winston to win us over, but I can't stand him right now. He yes. told the damn story about slamming the door on Caitlyn. Did you hear about this? No. Okay. No. So Caitlyn was talking smack because... Namaste, Caitlin. <laughs> I know. Well, Caitlin, Caitlin's a little too much sometimes. But yeah, but she I was know. like whispering, and he like smacked the door to scare her. Like, oh, because he was he was talking, he was whispering, okay. and she was like at the door listening. And oh, he, like, got it. Smacked the door to scare her because he knew she went scaring away. For the next hour, he retold this story like four times. No, I dude. can't. <laughs> He can't. He's gonna get so boring on the feeds. You know what? <laughs> Open up that backyard. Let Winston go out there and and work out and be by the yeah. pool. That's gonna be the best part about right. him on the feeds. Watching him <laughs> outside work out and work him out. Him and Brett, right? Him and Brett. That's yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So right now it just looks like Steve and Winston are. Um, yeah, they're the only yeah. ones awake right now. Everybody's asleep. Well, yeah. It looks like Steve's. Yeah. They're strategizing. Steve's trying to figure out. Because Winston wants Steve around. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think they, they want Sam gone. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen for anybody. No. She's there. She's going to stay. Yeah. Even if they vote her out. I mean, she'd be crazy, right? No. I mean, she'll stay. She's going to sure. stay. And now that you told me that she's, you know, pretty good comp. Com- she's competitive, at least in that yeah, last if she, veto com- if she competition. she won this fear factor Batsu... <laughs> Right, paintball <laughs> marker shock collar thing. So, very excited. That is so cool. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow night, we see who gets evicted. Uh, no, or that's not a good, no. Wait. Tomorrow night is uh going to show us all of the apps. Like we'll see oh, Sam's right. power. We're gonna see Fessy's crap app. Um. It's going to be a nice fluff episode okay, about yeah. what they've been up to, alliances building, that sort of thing. Uh, Wednesday, we'll have the veto. Uh, we'll actually get to see what this veto is. Oh um, and yeah. then Thursday will be our very first live eviction, which oh, right. might okay. not even happen. Because if they That's evict right. Sam... So we're really ahead. So We're super ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of time. And they're going to be in the 4th. It's going right. to be the 4th of July. Nice. So it's I, I don't know... It's crazy. All 16 of them are going to get to celebrate the 4th of July together. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's going to be pretty groovy. Okay. Well, you can follow us on Twitter. Please follow us. <laughs> Please follow us and subscribe. Please follow <laughs> us and subscribe. That's at Big Brother OTS. That's Big Brother on the slop. Uh, I am Cookie Pant. And I'm Linda Tex. Exactly. And we're out here in Astoria, Queens, uh, right outside in New York City. Uh, We're with FOU Studios. Check us out and all of our other podcasts. We're on SoundCloud. We're on iTunes. Uh, You can follow us once again on Twitter. And and we have lots of other podcasts, lots of other fun stuff going on. We have Behind Two Blondes. We have a wonderful show, which are... uh, Senior uh, producer of podcasts, Peter, uh, the host Peter the Geek. It's called Geek XP, uh, where you level up with them, uh, learning all kinds of fun stuff within the geeky world of... Am I getting this right, Peter? (laughs) Yes. Yeah, he's like nodding. Uh Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That sounds good enough. He's like, great enough. Wrap it up. (laughs) Uh, We have Behind Two Blondes. Uh, We have a a wonderful uh, The Chris Hahn Show. Oh, right. Um, Yes, Political Talks. Political Talks. And you can always check out every show that uh, FOU produces, including Batsu down in the East Village, out in Chicago, uh, The College Tour. All kinds of fun stuff. We got it all. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, everyone, for listening. Yeah, thanks so much. See you next week. Bye. (laughs) BB on the Slop was recorded live at Face Off Unlimited headquarters in Astoria, Queens, and was hosted by Chrissy Kaler and Linda Tex. It was edited and produced by Chrissy Kaler. The social media engineer is Linda Tex. The logo was designed by Jason Michael Miller. Executive producers are Joe Tex, Jay Painter, and Eric Robinson. FOU Studios is a property of Face Off Unlimited, LLC. I'm Peter Hargarden, the senior producer of podcasts here, and on behalf of everyone who worked on the show, we'd like to thank you, the listener, for tuning in. Subscribe to catch all of our other podcasts here on the FOU Studios Podcast Network. To follow all of the Big Brother updates, follow them at Big Brother OTS on Twitter. 
To learn more about FOU, connect with us via social media at FOU Studios and visit us at foustudios.com. <laughs>